Welcome to our video today where we'll be discussing the life and crimes of one of China's most notorious serial killers, Yang Xinhai, also known as the Monster Killer. Yang committed a total of 67 murders and 23 rapes over the span of three years, causing a wave of terror throughout the country. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into Yang Xinhai's early life, his first crime, his love story, the reason behind his acts, how the police finally caught him, and what ultimately happened to him. Yang Xinhai was born on July 29, 1968, in Jingyang County, Hunan Province, China. Yang's father was a farmer, and his mother suffered from a mental illness that made her physically abusive towards her children. Growing up, Yang was a loner and had few friends. He dropped out of school at an early age and worked odd jobs to make ends meet. Yang's first brush with the law occurred in 1985, when he was only 17 years old. He and his friends broke into a warehouse to steal grain, but they were caught in the act by the police. Yang was sentenced to a year in a juvenile correctional facility, where he endured physical abuse from the staff. In 1988, Yang was arrested again, this time for burglary. He was convicted and sentenced to five years in prison. After his release in 1993, he moved to different cities in China, working as a migrant laborer to avoid detection by the police. In 1996, at the age of 28, Yang fell in love with a woman named Wang. They had a brief relationship, but Wang's family did not approve of Yang and forced her to marry someone else. Yang was heartbroken and deeply affected by the loss of the woman he loved. It is believed that this event triggered Yang's descent into madness. Yang's mental health deteriorated rapidly, and he began to exhibit signs of psychopathy. He became increasingly violent and started to commit murder. Yang would break into homes at night, kill the occupants with a hammer or shovel, and rob them of their valuables. He also raped women, and his youngest victim was just six years old. The police launched a massive manhunt to capture Yang Xinhai. They set up roadblocks and conducted house-to-house -house searches, but Yang was always one step ahead of them. In 2003, the police finally caught a break when they found a shoe print at one of the crime scenes. They traced the print back to a factory where Yang had worked. They then tracked down Yang's parents, who told them that their son was on the run and had fled to another province. The police eventually caught up with Yang Xinhai in Sanzhou, Hebei province, in November 2003. He was sleeping in an abandoned house when the police found him. Yang did not resist arrest and confessed to all of the murders. He was tried and sentenced to death in February 2004. In conclusion, Yang Xinhai's story is a tragic one. His difficult childhood, heartbreak, and mental health issues ultimately led him to become one of the most notorious serial killers in China's history. It is believed that the pain and betrayal he experienced in his love life triggered his violent tendencies. Despite the massive manhunt that was launched to catch him, Yang managed to evade the police for several years. His eventual capture and confession brought some closure to the families of his victims. Yang Xinhai was executed on February 14, 2004, by firing squad. His case serves as a reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and the need for early intervention to prevent tragedies like this.